Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista and over here we do mainly things fragrance, whether it's body or home, but there are times where we will have a haul or talk about some other things. So today is one of those days. I am here to do my savings event haul from Sephora. So if you're interested in hearing about the things that I purchased and some recommendations, please okay, stay tuned. So Sephora savings event sale, it happens twice a year. It normally happens like April and then it happens again the end of October, early November where we are currently. So this is the savings event sale and to participate in this sale, you have to be a member. And all you have to do to become a Sephora beauty member is just sign up in the store. You know, when you go in store, and I'm sure it's a way that you can sign up online, you sign up. So when you sign up for this sale, you will start to accumulate points. And for every 500 points, I think you, I know you get like $10, but I have heard people say that they had like a $100 credit. I don't know how you get the $100 credit. I don't know how that happened. So if you know, leave it in the comments below. Um, I have accumulated points and points and points, but I don't think I've ever allowed them to get over a threshold of maybe $1,500. So if you know how that $100 credit goes, let me know in the comments below. But I have... Um, participated in Sephora savings events for several years. I've been a member, I think since 2000, I want to say maybe 15 or earlier, but over the past couple years, I have really been into, you know, shopping at Sephora and accumulating the frequent purchase of points. So there are several tiers to um, being an, an, I mean, a beauty member. The first tier is a Rouge member. And I think if you accumulate so many points within a calendar year, you are at a Rouge status. Now these statuses, they can fluctuate. So you can go in between status. Then you are a VIB member and the lowest tier is an insider. So the perks to this are different. You can actually see a perks chart on your app or inside of your app. And you can see the chart inside of the app. But the thing that I do like about being a Rouge member is that you get to shop first. And there have been times where I was a VIB and things sold out, you know, because I did not have the luxury of shopping first. So Rouge members was able to start shopping on Friday through November the 6th. And then the VIB and the insiders started to shop yesterday to receive their discount. So even with the um, tiers, Rouge is 20%, VIB is 15, and I think Insider is an additional 10. But if you are a member, it doesn't matter the level of membership you have. You can shop Sephora from the beginning to end. And Sephora items, when I say Sephora, shop Sephora items, and they are 30% off. So... Um, if you're here, you probably already know, but if you have some questions that I didn't cover, you can just leave those questions in the comments below. But here's my box, and this box is relatively small. I think I purchased like 10 items. I'm shaking the table. I purchased like 10 items, but they were some small items. So we're going to just get right into it. I have my little handy-dandy box cutter here. And I did go in store, so I did a little short when I went in store, but most of the items that I was interested in purchasing, they were not available for me to pick up in store. But I did go in store and it was one thing that I had forgotten to get when I um, placed my order. So I did pick that up in store. So let's just go through that one really quick. This is something that I am replenishing. This is the lip mask from Lawless. So I purchased this at the last VIB sale and they come in different flavors. This is the watermelon flavor and the one that I had was before was the cherry vanilla. Really, really enjoy it. Really like it. I like this actually more than I like my old faithful Laneige. And what I do like about this is that it does help fill the lips out. So not only do I use this at night, I use it anytime I want to get that really nice moisture and give my lips uh you know some velocity because you know i have a little 
complex or issue with my lips especially when I smile so um, I've been using this this is my second container so I picked up another one of these and um, I saved my 20% and the good thing about those lip masks they tend to carry me from one savings event to the next savings event so in here you guys I do have some makeup products some skincare and some fragrance so I'm just gonna go right in all right so I picked up this right here from Kiehl's this is the ultra facial cream now I have used other pro products from Kiehl's but I've never used this facial cream and sometimes I just want to be consistent across the board I don't mind mixing brands but there are times when I really like a brand I do try to get something for each need you know from that particular line so i'm already um a fan of the milk toner as well as the ultra um facial cleanser this is my go-to cleanser i really really enjoy this cleanser it is one of my favorite probably my most favorite cleanser but i am really getting off into this good molecule exfoliating powder to cream cleanser but this is a really nice cleanser so i picked up one of these this is a replenish and i got the facial cream so i picked up those two items and um i picked this up the reason i picked this up i have issues with my sinuses and a lot of times especially during those peak moments my eyes i wake up with grocery bags underneath my eyes so they're gone for today because you know i've been up you know had my whole day and but when i first wake up i have these little puffy bags so i saw a lady um do a video on this and this video actually went viral and i'm very familiar with the peter um thomas roth products i do use his um eye patches but when i saw this um it's the instant eye firm temporary eye tightener i don't have a um issues with you know wrinkles or anything right now thank god <laughs> but the puffiness it gets very extreme at times so i wanted to um try this product so i purchased this this will be my first time trying it and um another skincare product i got i really really like this to work on you can't really see them now but i do have those fine line frown wrinkles in my forehead and a lot of times it's um in the mornings i notice it but it's like once the blood starts pumping and flowing in my body i don't have an issue but there are times where I just feel like they won't go away. So I really enjoy these right here. And this is a replenish for me. But this is the Peace Out Wrinkle. I love Peace Out products. I love the Agni Spots. They had a Peace Out Dullness. I think they discontinued that. I was able to find it at TJ Maxx one last time. But they have some really cool little products. So I am a big fan of Peace Out. So I purchased those. And I purchased a couple um, lippies. Now, y'all know this is just a bit much. Oh, honey. I am so into these Dior Attic Cherry Lip Oil lippies. Love them. So this time I picked up the color. What color was this? Raspberry. So I picked up this one. And this one is a replenish. This is my favorite one. And this is the mahogany. So I replenish this one. This is my favorite one. But I actually, when I was in um, Ulta the other day, I saw that NYX, they have this lip oil now. And they had one that reminded me a lot of the Mahogany by Dior. So I think I'm going to do a comparison. I haven't used it yet, but I want to do a comparison to see if you could get a similar or same effect for $8. So these do retail for $40. Because I like them so much, it's worth it to me. But you have to be the judgment, you know, of how you spend your money. 
But um, I really enjoy these. I really do. Um, there have been times where I did pay $40 for it. But um, it was nice to get it at a discounted rate. Some people think that it's not worth it. But I really do like the Dior Attic Lippies. So I picked up those two. And I also picked up um, another color from Fenty. And this color I had been wanting. The last VIB sale they had sold out. I keep calling it VIB sale. The event saving sale, they did not have it in stock. So I got this, and this is the color Bread Winner. So this is this pretty brown color. Beautiful. And this looks like a color my girl Boohoo Guru wears. Her makeup always looks so pretty. Pretty girl anyway. But I picked up um, this one. So I have like three other of these particular um fenty lips and that's all i got for makeup so i picked up um two fragrances i have a purse size and a full size i picked up the father figure by fleur so i've seen a lot of content creators rave about this fragrance and i just had to try it and my store, my local store, we just got Sephora. Not Sephora. Sephora is already there. We just got K.I. Lee. But we don't have the Fleur line. So it's a lot of fragrance lines that my store just does not carry. But um, the notes are on the back. Good. So the fragrance notes. And here it is a green fragrance. The fragrance notes. Water Lily, Lush Fig, and Cassis Buds. The heart notes are Oris Root, Iris Flower, Jasmine Dew. The base notes are Skin, Musk, Vanilla, Madagascar, Patchouli Leaf, and Sandalwood. All right, so let's give it a try. I like the way this spray. Yeah, it's good. It's a green, musky type of fragrance. On initial spray, I could see myself purchasing a full size bottle but we're going to see what it really gives so I have this one and this one I just went on and stepped out because I do want to increase my cherry fragrances I do have quite a few in my collection but this one right here they kept talking about how beautiful and smoky it was and I said well let me try this before I spend that bitcoin on a Tom Ford fragrance so I went ahead and I got the seven virtues cherry ambition so let's open her up All right, so here she is. Let me see if I can see the fragrance notes. No, there are no fragrance notes on here. But this is supposed to be um, a smoky cherry type of fragrance. And I'm excited about it. This is a clean name. And this is the latest from the Seven Virtues. It's good. Mm. for those of you who were interested and i know cherry smoke because i have a sample sampled it many a times and actually almost bought it but i decided to just go ahead and settle for the cherry electric cherry which i should have not settled for but um it's it's good too but for those of you who were interested in possibly one day purchasing the cherry smoke i would definitely say purchase this first or at least sample it because this is very similar to cherry smoke omg very similar very very similar almost the same in my opinion now i don't know about the dry down but on the initial spray this is almost a dupe for smoke cherry cherry smoke by tom ford so again, this is Cherry Ambition. 
from the seven virtues so that's all i have you guys um i ended up purchasing like 11 items i do have other items in my basket that i'm considering purchasing one of the items I wanted to purchase, but I was afraid because I I did a matchup online because, you know, you can compare your matchup or your tone online if you reference another um, foundation that you use. I like that about Sephora, but I wanted to get a really good matchup. So um, because this fragrance, not fragrance, but this foundation comes in two formulations. They have like the glow, like the, sh the I, what they call it, sheer and not sheer, but shiny finish or sheer finish i'm sorry y'all then they have like the matte finish so i did match a color up but i did not get the foundation because just my look they did not have the color that i matched up with in store but they do have it online so i may consider go ahead and purchasing that just to make sure that i get the 20 percent off and um i have some more peter tom Thomas Roth eye patches in my cart. So I haven't decided if I was going to get them for sure or not, but now would be the time. The sale ends Monday on the 6th. So these are all the things that I purchased. I would definitely recommend any of these things with the exception of this, because this is new for me. But um, the fragrance, the father figure, it is everything that most of the content creators that I viewed said it would be it is a beautiful green musky fragrance and so this is what most of the people that i watch rated it to be a smoky cherry yet kind of sweet fragrance this is so good glad that i did purchase it i told you it's almost a spot on for smoke cherry by tom ford and my dior lip oils and the fenty beauty matte lippy so all of these things I would definitely recommend. If you have any um, detailed questions about any of the items that I share here, please leave them in the comments below. If you shop the sale, please let me know. If you plan on shopping the sale, just let me know. Just get the commentary going because believe it or not, you guys, when the commentary is there, it does push my analytics and push me out to other people um, where they will possibly view and hopefully subscribe to the channel. So you know comments nice comments um suggestions emojis all of that it does help so i want to thank you guys so very much i really do appreciate you i'll see you in the next video and do not forget you yes you you are great Bye bye